Hey everyone, welcome to Teller Community Call, Tuesday, November 9th. Um, lots of stuff going on, uh, super busy. Um, yeah, really just all over the place as far as what we're doing. Um, we'll get right into it, the big things. Uh, the ample fourth vote. Um, we were hoping it would have been this week, um, but we're deploying, we actually just deployed their contracts on mainnet yesterday. Um, and then we'll be, uh, Brandon, their CEO is gonna walk through with us, uh, just kicking off the vote, making sure we don't get anything wrong. Um, so that, that'll that probably be later this week. So look for a chance, not that you guys need to waste your money on voting. Um, they have, it'll probably look very similar to the snapshot vote where there's like, if two wallets were like 98% or something of the snapshot vote. So <laughs> they're gonna make up, they're gonna decide who wins the vote. Um, and that's all, that's super cool with us because they voted yes. Um, but, you know, get out there, spread some news. Hopefully this time next week, we'll be live pushing some prices in Ample Forth, which will be super exciting. Um, other things kind of on Teller X. So uh, we, we have this, like, we're slowly pushing down the, the timeline um, as far as what we're looking for. So just thought we'd give you guys an update on that. Um, what did we decide, Mike? <laughs> I think it oh, was time frame. It would be that uh, launch the vote on the twenty third. Yeah, which would have it finish on the thirtieth. Finish on the thirtieth, and then you have the day long period for disputes, and then uh, so December first would be the kickoff for Teller X. Um, super exciting. Um, so it is a holiday weekend that time. So we're gonna have to really do what we can to sort of get the vote out. We were sort of hoping to keep it a few days earlier, but we didn't wanna end the vote on a weekend. We wanted to make sure we had those last few days to really rally the vote whenever people should be back. Um, we need to hit 10% of the market cap needs to vote. Um, it may not, it, usually that's like no problem because the team holds a whole bunch, but our team holds like 4%. So. <laughs> We have we have some, but at the same time, we're going to need to make sure that uh, you guys out there get get out and vote. Um, we'll be we'll be doing like a little campaign to vote. Um, also, if you do vote, we'll be we'll cover your gas costs too. So that we we had done this with something similar. If you want, re if you want reimbursed for some gas costs, uh, happy to do so. So anything. Yeah, no, I would. I just, I think we need a. Uh, now's a good. Uh, now's a, as good as any in terms of uh, a time to start imploring you guys to get uh, your TRB off exchanges and get ready to 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 vote. If you, you know, like Nick said, if you only have a a couple, a handful of TRB, but you still want to participate and the gas is insane, um, we'll help out a few people. But we're hoping that. Uh, um, for any of you guys that are holding anything significant, um, you know, get prepared now. Um, even though we still have a couple weeks out, talk to your friends that have TRB. Um, just get prepared to vote because if you if you want Telerex to go through, it's gonna it's not up to us. It's up to all of us. Um, and so we're gonna you know we're gonna be tweeting this out, and obviously every week leading up to that, we're gonna be saying the same things on this community call, but. Help us spread the word. We can only shout so loud. Um, and uh, yeah, but I think it's gonna work out great. We've always uh, we've always managed to pass these votes through in the past. Um, but it's always a little bit nerve wracking, but uh, and also our community has grown quite a bit since uh, our last, it's been a while since our last vote actually. But um, anyway, yeah. yes, we gotta rock the vote. Super excited to see it happen. Um... Yeah, so I think that's about it as far as um, the Telerx timeline. So right now we're we're testing on Rink V. We should kick off Rink V. Will it be officially switched over to Telerx? My guess is this Thursday, um, and then you can start reporting if you want to come. You can already start on the, the test contracts, but if you want to pretend to be a reporter on Rink V uh, to test it out, definitely reach out. I'm happy to pass you some testnet CRB. Uh, get going there. 
um, that's kind of what we're doing. We're, uh, we're trying, like I, we have so many good future plans and things that we're building and integrations to happen with Telerx, but we're really trying to just ignore them, to be honest. Um, until Telerx is launched, we're just trying to keep our heads down and test and make sure it goes through smoothly. It's like we have like this Ampleforth thing that like has been going on for six months and then everything else. <laughs> hey, Matthew, delivery. will you please uh, mute the for Ryan us? Can. Or can someone mute Matthew? Sorry, you're, you're clearing your throat <laughs> and it's, you might not realize you're not muted. <laughs> no. Scared him off. I want to get know. him out. <laughs> you doxed him. <laughs> he talks himself. Um, cool. cool. Um, Sorry. Yeah. And then I think, you know, Mike, I was hoping to ask you the question, you know, maybe you and Sean and anyone else, like a lot of people have been asking in the, the Discord community, like we're launching Teller X, but what is sort of the plan to, to sort of promote it, um, to sort of get out there? Like, are we doing anything? marketing wise, what can the community do to help? Uh, yeah, we're, we're well, we're working on assembling all the materials for launching the new website. And uh, like this morning, we were talking about the community has been asking a lot about infographics and having these easy to share informational either videos or infographics or combination of the two. And so we're actually been actively working on that. Ryan's been working on that. And uh, I've connected with the uh, a, um, a video creator that's that can sort of help with the motion graphics side of that. Um, somebody that uh, actually did the ample stuff because um, they have some really good uh, content. But to get you guys stuff that you can share, you know, it's, you guys can't help us market if 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 it's just linking the white paper. Um, I understand that you guys need something that's a lot more of a sort of a high level, or simpler thing about how Teller works. I think that giving you guys a lot more of the, the shareable stuff is what we really want to have uh, available to you guys at TellerX launch and, and then continuing further. So um, that's the plan with that. I mean, we're, we have, so later this month, around the time of the beginning of the vote, we are sponsoring Reimagine. Um, and we have a, they're going to create some promotional materials for us as well. Um, and uh, so as part of our sponsorship of their virtual conference, they're going to be putting out sort of advertisements for us, these sort of motion graphics things. Uh, and that's going to be right around the time of TaylorX. And then we're going to do some more work with them in December. Um, but that's to be determined. Um, yeah, I mean, I think... I think that really covers it. I mean, we're going to be doing a, a lot of marketing campaign around Ampleforth, which is the biggest, you know, for us, like getting a new user is the biggest marketing event that we could have. I mean, Telerx are really excited about, I think, but the point of Telerx is to get more users. And I think having Ampleforth is a huge, a huge deal for us. And so we're going to work on a, we have a sort of a co-marketing strategy with them. We're just waiting for everything to go through. Um, they have a good marketing agency that they work with, um, and we're sort of following their playbook. Um, you know, they're gonna we're gonna have them on our community call. We're gonna go back on theirs. We're gonna put out a, a joint blog post with them, um, and I think that'll be really big material. Um, and uh, and of course, I mean, just we're working on a couple uh, new integrations. I wanted to mention this. We, If you guys have been following the Discord, we have a project called Morphware that's really exciting that is moving forward with us. Um, it's still early, but um, these are the kind of things that are going to be extremely marketable. Um, in the absence of, of having user integrations, it becomes tough on, on how to market. There's not much you can, all you can do is talk about yourself. You can just talk about why Teller is cool. And I think that that's useful, but at the end of the day, and I think you guys all agree, it's really about getting those users and having that sort of, um, that credibility that that establishes. And so um, we're excited about that. Additionally, I think this is really exciting. We haven't really shared this news yet, but we got awarded an Algorand grant, a uh, sizable Algorand grant. And so this would be another, um, you guys might call it a partnership, but this will be, a, a, you know, a big project for, for Teller is, uh, you know, building a, an Oracle on another chain and having um, 
significant funding and support from the Algorand Foundation around it, um, which will come with a whole host of users over on their platform. Um, and so that's exciting. And that will have its own marketing budget as well. So um, again, we're, we're going to be, once Telerex is, is, is launched, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be rolling on a few, a few things. And so, um, yeah. I, uh, I think that uh, cool. hopefully we'll get you guys a ton of material so you guys can uh, share away. Yeah, and keep the memes coming, everyone. So for those people in our Discord channel, there's like a whole memes channel, and it's just been like every day there's like good, fresh memes. It's, yeah. It's I, uh, Buddy, you could probably talk to this, but we, we really, um, Spuddy was really inspired by the Rye community and the, the way that they've been handling their money god and sort of their, their sort of meme ecosystem, if you will. And so, it dazzled uh, me. yeah, it dazzled him. And he would like to, you have a, a dream, a vision for Teller as well around that. Yeah, it's, it's not really well defined right now, but I would like us to uh, like tell people what we want from Teller memes. And then, uh, and then, uh, you know, I can, I'll be making some myself and uh, hopefully I can manifest some meme greatness. Yep. Right. We were, you know, we're going to have Telly at the mascot. He's going to come out of his, his uh, hiding place and, uh, and hopefully you guys take to him and his character and we, we can have a, a bit of a, a talisman, if you will, for, for creating memes. I think that's an important thing. Just like how Rai has that, that, uh, what is that? What's that statue that, uh, a Moai. A Moai, yeah. You just wanted to use the word talisman in the sentence. I, I don't even think that was a, the right word to use there, but I pulled that out of my random box. Okay. <clears throat> cool. Well, Ryan, uh, we got any questions? We do. <clears throat> we got nine, actually. Whoa. Woohoo. Nine. Uh, what is your vision for build a great ecosystem? I mean, I can go, but anyone else want to try it first? Spuddy? Uh, vision? The, the vision is, uh, you know, developing Telerx, which is a revision of an Oracle that was already an original idea for a decentralized Oracle that didn't exist. And we don't think there's any better uh, solution out there. And Telerx is going to be you know, it's, it's an evolution of that. And it's, I think the developers are building everything that we've learned and adjusting for the way things are now. And, uh, you know, people start using that. That's the ecosystem. And then uh, we're going to make some really nice memes so that people can understand it. The meme. Uh, when I think of the word ecosystem, I think of like variety. I think of like... Uh different species of things. And the cool thing about Telerx um, is it really is going to broaden the variety of, of user types and use cases because we can provide, you know, we're, this is not a, we would like to say it's virtually, we can, we can answer any question, the Oracle can answer any question. That's kind of what we were aiming for is to be that, which is, you know, it's much broader than just being bringing price data on chain. And just that narrow set of users, which was our old ecosystem. We wanted to be much broader and much more exciting and much more, you know, interesting. Like we don't even know where it could go. And we would like to be able to have users show up and ask something that we never even thought of and we can provide it. So that's, that's I think, something that I think of when I think of ecosystem. Ecosystem yeah. is also the community, right? Yeah, like, I mean, I mean, a lot of stakeholders. The community, the reporters, the users, and then upcoming with the treasury, everybody that's going to be part of the treasury, like the all and the governance, of course, making sure that our users are actually very, very, um, our, our community is very involved. So it's and then expanding, like it's 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 a lot of moving parts. Um, how do we get there? I guess it's just you know it's all of us together, the community. And making sure that everybody, you know, even the community, the community helping us marketing, and the community help making sure that, you know, keeping us on our toes, 
in terms of like actually looking at what we're putting out, it's it's a big part of it. And that community is like all of those stakeholders. It's just as we expand, that in itself keeps growing. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, like that. I look at like other communities, like what other ecosystems would we like to be? You know, like obviously there's like the big ones like Bitcoin or Ethereum, but you know, even like smaller ones, like you can take certain things from other ones, like, you know, like for instance, like old MakerDAO in a lot of ways was really pushing decentralization, you know, similar to how like Rai is now, they seem to have a good community that really sort of focuses on pushing decentralization, you know, even giving like credit where credit's due, like a link or a synthetics token like they you know, their community generally rallies really round, well around things and promotes each other really well that's cool you know i really like like get coins community um their core team and their core community really they're just like nice people generally i love I, like i like interacting with them a lot they, they sort of have a mission you know grants focused and for a greater good and and I really like that. So like, you know, if we could, we could sort of incorporate little pieces from each of those things, it would, it would be really cool in my mind. Anyway. And by the way, Brenda, you look like you're on a movie set. Like this should be your, your Zoom backdrop all the time. Like it's like perfectly lit. You got this like really interesting lighting set up. The chair, like everything. <laughs> so I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> And by the window, it's the, it's the best lighting I could find. It looks, it looks great. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, next one, not necessarily a question. Maybe we don't even need to comment on it, but this token looks like a stable coin. If we leave it sideways for so long. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, mean, I assure you it is not. <laughs> <laughs> like people say that but you know like we were just talking about this buddy and i the other day like so what's our current price now like 60 something um 64. yeah i mean we've only been above this like maybe four weeks ever like it's like we, we haven't you know most of the time we're lower than this and like i you know i know a lot of people like the pumps and the dumps and everything like that but slow and steady growth like way way better and, and helps yeah. us sleep better at night so <laughs> yeah the price of trb the price of trb was above a hundred dollars for like t t 10 days to two weeks or something like that that yeah. was it i think it, i think it was yeah it was exactly. like it under was that yeah days. yeah um we briefly touched on this what's the updated timeline for teller x mm -hmm. is it december 1st yep um not everyone will use discord could we explore ways to integrate all communities together maybe make a list of links that are very visible on each community page such as twitter and others thanks full file thank you full file guess we could pin a message with all about the links but the majority of our interaction happens in Discord. So if you want to be part of the conversation, unfortunately, I feel like a lot of people are just there in Twitter. A lot of people hate that answer when I when I, I tell know. them that in the community, they, they don't, if they don't want to come to Discord, they don't want to hear that that's where we are. But the rest of the team is, we're not going to go and be everywhere. Like you can talk to me anywhere because that's my job, but you can't, you're not going to talk to, Nick and Brenda and Mike or Ryan, Tim, everybody else is going to be in Discord. Or just the rest to. of the community. If the, if the majority of the community is in one space, having a that conversation too. about what's happening, including yeah. like Taylor X or something with Pi Telliot, and you want to be part of the conversation, you know, it, it's hard to just, it's hard to come to a conclusion and talk about it and discuss it if there's a bunch of different forums and then you're, you're never going to reach a conclusion. Um, but with that said, I mean, we could always pin a message where they can find us on Twitter, on Discord. We still use Telegram a little bit, um, but not so much as, as a community. So, um, um, our, yeah, like I'm I trying to think of where, our, where we don't have links. Um, I guess we don't. We don't have a Reddit link on our website. We don't have a Reddit link on the, on the Twitter. Um, it's just a question whether or not that Reddit subreddit is you know for us an official forum 
or an unofficial place. And it's something that is, I know it's called teller official, <laughs> but that's like, you know. Not, not a lot of officialness about it. Not a, not a lot of officialness there. And each of these platforms does something well and other things, other things not so well. And Discord's the best platform that we have that allows the sort of richness of conversation and to do business, to actually coordinate as a team and to uh, section out different conversations uh, through the different channels. It's just, it's untouchable in terms of what it can provide us. That's why we're there. We could I, feel like I, should, like I feel like I should say, sorry, Brenda. Sorry, that we could always do like a list of very, like, I guess, uh, very well-defined list where like this is where like the team basically the official links and then other community links. I mean, they should be able to provide them if they want to go to Reddit or whatever other uh, community chats that are outside of, you know, what we're actually controlling. We could potentially just, but be very specific. Like this is what we're actually, what the team is official and this is what the community has come up with. Yeah, but I mean, it's, it's one of those things where eventually as we grow, you know, you can think about like Ethereum, you know, how it grew over time. Like, you know, Ethereum used to be like on Reddit, you know, primarily, and then it, same with like Bitcoin, and then it grew into, you know, a lot of people, the developers were like on ETH research for a while. That was like where Vitalik lived. And then it moved into like the Twitter sphere. And um, as we get bigger, you know, hopefully we get to the point where like, you, you almost can't contain it in one. And nothing's official because there is no official you know like it's you you want yeah. this sort of organic growth and you, you'll find little pockets and communities of which you you sort of drive with there might be one that is developers and one that is you know price talk and one that's memes and if they're not on the same channel that that's okay yeah i mean um, that's where we want to get to but i mean currently where we're at i feel like yeah. if the community members want to find each other in the best means that you know, they, they believe it's their best means of interaction. We can potentially do this for them. And it, it, it's not, a. I don't think it's a huge lift. Maybe we can even ask the community to add links or send us link to a specific, maybe to um, to Spotty or, or, yeah. or Ryan or whoever. And then, you know, just, it's just a list for them to find each other, you know. What I was gonna say for people who might be new to crypto in general, um, I mean, for pretty much any crypto project, you're going to find the biggest community on their Discord, like their official Discord. It's that way for not just Teller. It's every, pretty much every crypto project, the biggest community is on Discord. So, yeah, if you're in crypto in general, like it's just, it's worth to just take the plunge, get used to Discord because it's more than just Teller. It's going to be every other project that you're interested in. It's going to have a community there. And, uh, it's just worth it. Especially as we integrate with other communities. Um, I think it's important for the communities themselves to become, you know, more like integrated as well. Um, I think it just helps with the growth of, the, of both protocols and them not finding out what's happening on both protocols if it affects both of them. Yeah. So. Discord's kind of like the teller, like in a way it's, it's both like the, the town square of the community, but also like the front office for Teller. Like it's literally our place of business virtually. We actually do like, this is how we communicate with our entire team. Uh, we do a lot of our communications publicly. It's actually really neat. Like if you were investing in, a, in a, a stock, there's no place like that for you to go, literally watch what's going on day to day with that company and perhaps reach out to the, the CEO of that company and ask them direct questions and get a response. You know, like it's actually amazing what we're providing <clears throat> for for speculators or investors or, or just fans or whatever, the access and the transparency that we have through Discord. So um, this, this is not meant to say don't have these other communities and Reddit's bad or something like that. No, not at all. It's just like Discord's amazing. It's awesome for a reason. Like, come over. So uh, we've over answered that question, but thanks. Yeah. Thanks for the feedback. <laughs> We're not sponsored by Discord, by the way. I know, I know. <laughs> so. This call is brought to you by- They just launched uh, an integration with uh, MetaMask and we'll all connect. Yeah, that's the other thing is that the Discord, the guy 
the founders of Discord are like on the level with like yeah. turning this from a gaming platform to a crypto platform. Like it's, it's not going away. All right, here's a softball. Admin, when moon? Oh, this one oh, is no, well, Lauren's not here. We can answer that. <laughs> right. Uh, could we make very summarized point form graphically attractive list of new developments, materials that the community can share slash spam social media with? Yeah, I like that idea. I think this goes into like, crypto marketing is all about these little micro shareable thing. Uh, yeah. And they sort of, they always try to hype up the smallest amount of things to to generate as much interest. And yeah, we roll our eyes at a lot of that in the crypto space because it's a lot of junk. But uh, we, we're not overlooking that you guys want these materials. And I think we can come up with some uh, some cool ideas around like our current progress. Uh, like, for example, like had we had this like just some sort of shareable memes around Telerx development or around uh, you know, anything that we're working on. So uh, yeah, whoever this is, you should uh, hop in our Discord and uh, like hop in, there's a marketing channel, there's a creative channel. Like these are great places to sort of just ping pong ideas. And then like people on the team will riff with you, including myself, and um, we can actually turn it into something. Um. This one is not a question, but it's a compliment. Thanks for all the hard work. Very friendly team. Smiley face. Um, and then lastly is uh, how to aggr aggressively get more adoption to compete with so many competitors slash one Teller X, what normies can do with Teller X. So that's three questions popped in. So firstly, how do yeah, aggressively I mean, get more adoption? I think we're just being aggressively attacking the Oracle problem. Like we're aggressively trying to be the best teller we can be and uh, focusing on that slow, steady, organic growth. I mean, it's the tortoise wins the race kind of thing. And, and we've actually seen, I feel like we've seen that play out on a macro scale when you compare to our competitors, like they're, I was just looking at um, band protocols, uh, for example, um, their medium. Uh, and just like you go through their partnership tab of their, their blog, and it's just, I'm not sliding them. I'm just describing this. They're, everybody does this. A lot of people do this same thing. But it's just like blog post out of blog post after blog post of these partnerships with their logo next to another logo. And it's just a long scroll. And it's just these they're constantly churning these things out and they can't all be tangible. Uh, I, I suspect that they, I mean, this is what we know in crypto in general. I won't call out band about their specific partnerships, but just in general, the way that these crypto projects do this is they're just too busy churning these things out that don't really have much substance behind it. And it takes a lot of effort for them to do this, to like blow all this smoke out. Um, Whereas we're, we're focusing on actually like building something fantastic and, and people are starting to recognize that. I think Ample, obviously a project like Ample Forth, Liquidity. And uh, you know, once you establish that, I've said this before, but like it's about establishing a beachhead. It's just some place where you can like put your flag in, land your troops, and uh, you know, having that initial set of, of really quality core users gets you there. Um, and that's what we've been focused on for the last two years is getting to that point. And I think we're, we're just about there. Definitely the core users. And like you say, like you take your flag and then, you know, you deploy your troops. Um, we're doing a lot more sponsorships of um, hackathons. And I think as you know, the younger we can get a, a, a project to know about Teller and to easily integrate it. I think even if that hackathon doesn't turn out into a long-term thing for them, at least we're in the back of their minds to be used for once they actually have something that is more long-term. So a lot of, of that comes from recognition and I think we're, we're working on it. Uh, we can definitely do a better job. 
and you know as a community girls if you guys help us out that'd be great too and then just to i, I think this is an interesting question to what what can normies do with teller x well we're bringing out the treasury do you want to talk about the treasury nick so yeah so I, well i mean normies is such a it, it's a tough term to do yeah. with you know like we you're obviously investing in crypto and you're here in you know this awesome space where you're hopefully going to be investing in treasuries or doing something with a smart contract so give yourself a little more credit you're not a normie <laughs> you you are special um you're elite yeah like you're you're like so early in this stuff you're engaging in you know decentralized oracle and you want to know how you can do it if you're not an oracle project basically you know because like of course you can start a project that uses teller x but you know the other way is you know we're going to have people who are running reporters we're going to have people who you can invest in a treasury you can get a small return for your money um you can vote on proposals you can just take part in you know, and, and the biggest thing I think is it's so underrated and I, I, I want to figure out a way that we can reward it is just being an awesome community member. Um, you know, like you can, there's so Great many memories. people. Yeah, like seriously, I mean, like yes. you can find people who like are, can do the coding or there'll be an LP or there'll be a reporter, but that's all because they're doing it for money or for a return. Like, you know, the, the real people who make these protocols special are the people who are like in your Discord posting every day. And are like the ones who like, you know, like even like we've said a lot about Ampleforth's community. We've given them a lot of praise because, you know, like we'll go and we're doing our integration and, and they question us on everything, you know, and it's, these are a bunch of like non-paid just people who just hold the token usually in pretty small amounts and they just give us hell like because <laughs> they want to nitpick every little detail because they care about their protocol. And like those are those are the people you want in your community. You know, like every change that we make and, and they're they're out there. So just be a good community member and um you know, be out there tweeting, out there spreading the word. And yeah, that's definitely the best thing you can do. And I and I hope we figure out some way to reward them. Like I think like I, I know we have said this before, like where you like bring in like you you know, we could actually use Tyler X to like bring Discord messages in. So every time you do a Discord message, you can like we could record all their discord messages and all their we could add it to their their twitter posts about teller and stuff like that and then we can just do like airdrops for community members or something like that and i don't know like things like that like i i, I would want to see a those. lot of spammers <laughs> no but i would love to see those kind of people not like you know like the yes. ens domains one you know like that one got people are saying that's really good but you know like it you could potentially buy like on the ENS domain, just trying it out and then be a phenomenal community member spreading the word for years. Like, you know, like, do you, I, I don't know the exact structure of their airdrop, but like, or you could have just like speculated on these things that they're going to go up in price. Like, which one do you actually want in your community? Sure, the one is more tangible and easier to measure, but you actually want the good community member. Like, same with Teller X. Like, we could have somebody who's been a reporter for the last year or somebody who just bought five teller tokens and has been an awesome community member. And like, we would take that person, you know, yeah. 100 out of a hundred yeah. times. I think using teller X in these discrete minting events, you could mint a contract, uh, some tokens that would like have some sort of vote. I mean, it could be turned into a popularity contest, but then the community can vote to sort of like, tip out some of these funds to these registered uh, addresses that are from our community members. Like, you know. Yeah. Um, they can propose it, they can, yeah. Yeah, yeah so. but that would be cool. And yeah, so how do you get more of those guys? That's how we want the normies to help. So, cool. Um, we got uh, some comments going on in the chat. I just wanted to bring them up. Um, First, Tamsi, who's been very active in the uh, Discord community, so shout out to you. But uh, he said, I think Discord and Reddit covers most of the community members. It's enough if only those two are very nicely linked together. Smiley face. Uh, yeah, thanks for pointing that out. I think I, I'm definitely, I'm gonna look at the Twitter that the, the comment brought up to see if we can possibly 
link more there, but I agree. I think, you know, the discord is the home and heart right now for how the core team can kind of curate, facilitate the community. Um, and then down the road, maybe expands beyond that, but that's definitely the place uh, to be right now. Um, and then Richard Schaff uh, asked, can you explain the marketing campaign a little more in detail? Where are you putting forth the most efforts and why? Yeah, I could uh, touch a little bit more on that. I don't know if Sean, if you want to add any points, I don't know if you want to be put on the spot with this one, but- uh, I'll add some stuff, but go ahead. Yeah. Um, so the, we're really trying to establish the foundation for future marketing efforts, first and foremost, with the rebrand to Telerx, re-messaging. I know you guys haven't seen a lot of this stuff yet, but like we've done a lot of um, preparatory work to sort of lay the lay the groundwork for being able to cr create these materials. Um, so the new website, uh, the new white paper. Um, videos that are, that are going to accompany the website, um, beefing up Teller School on our YouTube, um, informational, educational materials is uh, sort of a big part of our, our vision for the ways to, to market Teller. And I, this is also coming from the community's asks of us. That they want more of these materials. And so, uh, and that totally fits with what we value uh, in terms of marketing versus the other type of crypto marketing, which is all about price and things like that and, and shilling and things like that. So, um, uh, and, and I've said this a bunch too, is that there's a, the biz dev element is just getting the users is, gives you all the ammo in the world from a marketing standpoint. And it gives you so much more return on your efforts is getting the user doing a co-marketing campaign with that. Uh, it, uh, it's just highly effective. Um, and Brenda brought this up with the hackathons, like a, the biggest, um, I think, bang for our buck so far uh, over the last year and a half, or two, uh, yeah, year and a half has been sponsoring hackathons. And so um, so if you're not familiar with, with that, I mean, I can go into more detail. I don't know how, how much I want to go into it, but basically we, we sponsor these, these events. They're big, they're small, um, but you have a lot of the, the developers that are aware of these events that are going on. Um, so you kind of get a, a mutual marketing uh, in that because the other sponsors sort of see you, you kind of become um, part of a peer group uh, in the DeFi space. Um, and this is how we meet other um, potential users or just other great projects in the space. And then you get a lot of these hackers that are the builders of tomorrow. I know it sounds corny, but a lot of a lot of the projects out there that are that are on mainnet and are, that are used started off as, as hack hackathon projects. And so um, it's a really good way to, to to sort of for people to hear about us because of the opportunities to actually inter interact with the technology and, and implement it and, and get rewarded for it. Um, yeah, and we're always look. I know this last couple of years has been a little bit on the slower side with with public events, and it's just starting to ramp up. But we've been loving the the last few in person events that we've sent the team to, in uh, in Portugal, in uh, in Portland, and uh, um, and we're we already have like a schedule planned out, an initial schedule planned out for events that are coming out in 2022. Um, and so getting out to these events as they start to happen again is going to be huge for us. Um, every time we go to them, we it becomes really, really productive um, in terms of meeting potential partners and things like that. And so, again, like that just gives you all the ammo in the world to market. Um, I think I, I don't know. Did I cover everything, Sean? Um, just, yeah, because like for now in the near term, too, we're going to have like the content to share. We've just put a lot of energy into like, what's the content we can have go out and also shared by people. So even with Telerx, like the timing's just, we sort we have that announced now, like just announcing the timing of it, um, like getting ready to vote, you know, those types of things are just more marketing. Um, telling this Teller story, like as we do that up to the Telerx launch. So 
things like that. That's what we're we're excited about over the next couple of weeks. Yeah, I want to touch really quick on that. Is there's a type of um, there's like a inward bound marketing, if you want to call it that, which is like helping to mature our community through providing better materials for them, uh, better awareness of what's going on for them, things of that nature, and even fun things like memes and music videos, just making Teller a more fun and uh, mature place to be. Uh, um, and then there's the sort of outbound stuff of, of celebrating our things to announce and, and our launches and partners and uh, um, news and educational materials as well. So. Uh, yeah, so we're pretty much trying to hit it from as many angles as possible. Cool. And then he said, uh, okay, well, thank you for your question, Richard. Hey, we also have a couple, I know we're running some time here, but we do have a couple new people on. I just wanted to give them a chance to speak up if you guys had any questions before we stop recording. All right. Yeah, but thanks for joining, though. Yeah, it's great to have people yeah. here. Thanks for joining. Um, nice to see everybody here, or more more than more people than just the team. Yeah. Thanks, Brenda. Oh. <laughs> just kidding. I do like you guys. <laughs> we're gonna move this to Discord. Is what we're gonna do. You can't record it. I think that was I know. Once we figure, there's gonna be. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. There's gonna. There is a recording bot. Aha. Uh -huh. But it, I don't know if it's video. Well, I'll look into it. Fair enough. Cool. Cool. Thanks, thanks, everybody. Guys. See everyone. GM. GM.